Hey everybody and welcome back to Secundum where we're gonna we're gonna continue. We're gonna try to do what what are the achievements? What freedom? Leaving Earth? Selfish. Whatever. I think uh Whoa. Is the music loud? Uh might be. Let me lower it down real quick. I don't know if that makes a difference to you guys, but it makes a difference to me. All right, so let's uh, let's read. A loud mechanical noise wakes you up from your slumber. A light, as bright as the sun, shines into your window. Wondering what the noise is, you jump out of bed to see what is going on. Okay, you rush downstairs and you start to think about what to take in case you need protection. You look at your coffee table to find something useful. You grab a... Alright, last time I grabbed car keys. Let's grab a fucking newspaper. <laughs> you stop for a moment and think what well, you just picked up. Maybe this is not what you need. Okay. So... I guess that you get the same shit. Okay, I picked kitchen knife last time. Let's pick flashlight. Alright, you open the door to see... A large floating spacecraft. After after all the news reports on aliens, you finally believe they are real. You carelessly stand under it, and a beam of light comes down and lifts you up. Alright, so we know if we struggle, we, we die, so let's let it bring us up. The beam pulls you up into the foreign ship, where a green glass flows into the room, soon knocking you unconscious. Okay. You awaken in the metal cell to your left. There is a metal bowl with water in it. And above it is a metal bed. No covers or pillows. You need to escape. What do you do? Okay, last time I looked for tools. Let's see what happens if I scream for help. You continue yelling until your lungs wear out. Maybe you should try to look for an exit or tools. Okay. So let's look for an exit then. You continue searching around, looking under your bed, all around the room. Then you might see then you might see something. Something in the corner. You see some metal wires laying on the floor and you pick it up. Outside the desk there's the keys on the laying on the desk. You twist three of the wires together and pick up the keys using the end of the wire. Success you have got the key to escape, so let's unlock the door. All right, you reach. You reach around and unlock the door from the outside. The door swings open and you are free. But now where do you go? You walk down a long corridor and find a split in the path. You can go right or you can go left. Where do you go? Last time I went left, so let's go right. You turn right and see nothing but another hallway to your left. You see windows looking out into space and you can see earth in the distance you become a bit homesick oh man you turn left again and hear hear cries of pain and torture you decide to investigate and find out what is going on as you walk towards the door you see a laser pistol laying on the ground curiously you pick it up and continue into the room oh you walk in and see an alien poking a woman with an electrical pole, or electric pole, pushing her into a cell. You need to save her, so you... Let's fucking tackle the alien. Last time I shot it. What? You attempt to tackle the alien, but he heard your footstep first. He quickly turned and, sh and shoots you in the chest. Big mistake. Okay, let's go back. Let's shoot him from a distance, like we did last time. You aim with your pistol at the alien and fire hit. The alien goes down and the woman tries to hide herself from you. You should go over and tell her that you're friendly. Alright. Okay, you approach the woman. She, said she has already picked up the pistol and is aiming it at you. You say to her. Alright, last time I said to chill out, so let's say don't shoot, I'm good. She stands up, still aiming at you. She says, my name is Elizabeth, I'm from Canada. You? You pause for a moment and you respond. 
I'm John. Uh, I'm from New York. She laughs. What's so funny about that? It's the same thing, I guess. Alright. Elizabeth says, there may be a way out. You smile, ready to leave. You can either use an escape ship and that breaks off of the UFO, and we can fly back to Earth, or we can continue on and destroy the aliens and their ship. Let's use the emergency ship, because last time we continued fighting. You safely board the emergency ship and fly back to Earth, but but there is still a threat from aliens. Um, help? What the fuck is that? Let's let's help. What the fuck happened? Uh. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> It's like they're they're trying to make me go to a study freaking a guide to see what the fuck. That kind of scared me a little bit. I was like, was it something? Is it gonna be a jump scare? Okay, do I go back? All right, let's continue fighting then. All right, let's continue fighting. How about we go through the door? Elizabeth says. Last time I said, is it safe? Last time, let's just say let's go. I'm not sure if it will be safe, but we have nowhere else to go. Okay, it's the same shit. You and Elizabeth slowly open the door to see thousands of small aliens, not armed. They seem like children. You and Elizabeth need to decide what to do. Let's kill all these fucking babies. You start running through the door, or through the room, shooting every alien you see. As soon as the first bullet was fired, an alarm rose, and the whole place turned red with warning lights. You and Elizabeth make it for the other side safely, but no one knows what will happen now. Okay. You and Elizabeth keep running through mostly empty rooms. You felt like you were running in circles. You suddenly stop after hearing a noise. You step back into the room behind you and press a small button on the wall. A jail cell appears and three people and there are three people inside. You shoot to lock off and motion for them to follow. Okay. You reach an armory and there are millions of laser pistols, swords, and medical kits. Your new, f your new followers grab ammo and weapons. You decide to stay there for a while to rest and recover while their aliens search for you. You need to find a place to stay. Let's hide in a jail cell. You survive the night and prepare for the upcoming battles you will face. Then continue on. You approach three aliens standing guard uh, at the door. These are much more armed, armored. They appear to be more protected due to the threat. Due to the threat, your team shoots them dead. Easy, but easy, but then more keep flooding into doors. You don't know if you can hold them off. What do you do? Let's throw a grenade, cause that's what you have to do. One of the followers throws a grenade in, and you hear a screech, and the, s the ship quickly tilts to the right, and everyone flies to the wall. Eventually, the ship tilts back, and everyone is okay. You slowly walk into walk in, and all the aliens are dead. They were protecting a small box. You pick it up, and you put it in your bag. Everyone else comes in. Then you plan to move to the next area. A man falls down and says, I cannot get up. Can we kill this fool? Because I know he's bad. You walk over to him and whispers to keep going, just remember Phil dying as a hero. Elizabeth stares at you and then everyone continues to move on close behind you. Close behind. Okay, so I know I'm right and what's her face is wrong. You continue to the right, then you hear shots, what do you do? How do uh, what if I keep what if I continue going my way? They can save themselves, let's do that. <laughs> you keep going right and you reach an end where there are many alien troops coming at you. There is nowhere to run. You start firing at them, but they are way too strong. Or they are too strong. You soon die. <laughs> Let's go back. We have to save our friends. You run back to save most of your friends from the aliens. One of your friends got shot and she soon died. 
He had no proper way to bury her, so he decided to cover her with a blanket and continue on. Alright. You come to another split. One way is very dark and ominous. The other, you can see a window where you can see distant stars and planets. Which way do you choose to go? Last time I went in the bright room, let's go in the dark room. Uh, you lead your group down the dark hallway. You find a set of stairs. Do you want to go down or do you want to go to the bright room? Let's go down the stairs. Everyone follows you as you descend the stairs. No one knows what awaits you. Could be danger, could be worse. The metal stairs creak as you walk down them. Elizabeth flips on her flashlight and you reach the bottom of the stairs. You can only see a few feet in front of you. Alright. As you move forward, you hear a deep breathing sound. It gets closer as you go forward. Eventually, the flashlight shines on two aliens standing at guard in front of a door, not acknowledging them at all. You decide to... Let's, um... Let's fucking shoot them. One of your friends shoots both of the aliens, no problem. The only setback is you cannot open the door. Elizabeth digs in her bag and pulls out a grenade. She says this will do the trick. Everyone steps back and throws the grenade and you get... The door gets completely blown off. You enter the large room. You walk into a massive room filled to the top with wires, computers, and other electro electrical equipment. Let me scratch my ear real quick. I'm sorry if you could hear that. <coughs> you find a small computer with two wires attached to it. On the desk it says, do not cut or remove wires. You wonder what will happen. Elizabeth uh, stops you and says, this could be suicide. You look around and see a small escape pod. You, you need to choose what to do. <laughs> um, go back to the bright room. Cut the wires and run to the escape pod, or go to. Okay, we know what happens when we go to the bright room, so let's fucking cut the wires. You pull out a knife and cut both the wires. The ship rumbles, and you all fly around the room. Eventually, you make it to the escape pod. As you fly away, you see the ship blow up. You did it! Fuck yeah! That's it? Okay. Is there other things I can do? Okay, what if- what happened- okay. You sit down and you hear shots being fired from behind you. You turn around to see Phil the bastard and he's the, the dying man. A whole bunch of aliens shooting at Elizabeth and you and your friends. Phil was really working for the aliens. You run to help the group. As you run to cover, as you run to cover, you get shot in the shoulder. The pain is extraordinary. Extraordinary. Let's uh, surrender myself. Uh, you surrender yourself and your friends. They lock you up and they forget about you and you die of starvation. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so what do you, you keep fighting? Um. What did I do here? Go down like a hero drives this. Did I put that before? You tell Elizabeth and your last remaining friend what your plan is. They are skeptical, but they agree. You put the sherp, the shit, the sherp, the ship into full speed and drive into a nearby planet. You died well. Okay. Is that all of them? Did I get all of them? Okay, we did that, and we escaped. Yeah. To be continued. Main menu achievements. Did I get all of them? No, I didn't. Uh, what did I miss? I missed freedom. Freedom was when you... Uh, let's fucking grab the flashlight again. Struggle is when you get freedom. What was the other one? Did I miss something? 
liquid tools. Um, let's go left. How about I, how about I do nothing? You're attacked by two alien guards and they kill you. They kill you cleanly and precisely. You never stood a chance. Okay. What happens if I get a small sword? You continue along. Okay. What happens if I leave them? I get shot! Fuck! As you prepare to leave the bodies on the ground, an alien comes up behind you and kills you. You probably should have hit the bodies. <laughs> okay. What happens if I run in and attack them all with my small sword? You run in and attack all the aliens. You kill about five until they react and kill you. Why do you do that? Let's go back further. Oh, what? Okay, let's sneak past the door. Let's ignore it. You go straight, and there is only one way to go. Right. You keep going, and you are forced to take another right. You find yourself back at the entrance where you back at the entrance to where your gel cell was. You should head back. Okay. Let's shoot the alien again. Uh, whatever. Is there any more? Continue fighting. Let's go. Continue. Kill the aliens. Continue. Yeah, we got them. Okay, let's, what happens if I keep moving? No rest. You tell everyone to get up and keep moving. No time for small talk and chit chat. A man yells from behind you. Who died and made you king? You ignore him and keep moving. They stay behind you running very slowly. Um, okay, that's, that's the right thing to do. Stupid Phil. You know, we know we need to go right. We need to save our friends. Is there anything else I could do? I don't think so. Unless I, uh, unless the the only thing that I could do now is is pick a different weapon when I when I go left. So let's hand pistol. Okay, it's the same shit. Alright guys, so that's enough for this. That's a complete walkthrough of this game, so. That's it, so see you guys in the next LP. Later.